Welcome guys, this is Digimorphosis and I am Brian. And what I have for you today is a sort of a workaround for an issue that any Mac user is experiencing for using a creative product such as the Sound Blaster XG6 like I am. If you, like me, are sort of a hybrid user, I have a gaming PC that is Windows but I use a MacBook and stuff for work, but I share the Sound Blaster G6 across all my devices for headphone use at the desk, you have the issue that Creative doesn't support the software from Mac. Now, if you just want to plug the Sound Blaster in via USB and use it as a DAC and a headphone amp straight up, it works. You don't need the software, and it's fine on Mac. But if you're a person who says, I want to use some of the Sound Blaster sound profiles, or I want to use the equalizer, well, you need the software to do that. And since they don't have uh, the, a working app for Mac, there seems to be no way to do that. Now, short of going into complex solutions like having emulation software to run a Windows app on Mac and get into all that crazy crap, I have a sol sort of a solution. I would call it more of a workaround uh, that I found out today through just fiddling around with some things that I thought I would share in case anybody else found it useful. So when you go in on a Windows computer with the software and you're setting up whatever sound profile and equal equalization that you want to use, it's not just saving that in the software itself. It actually saves that to the device. I discovered that just through random trial and error going back and forth. And so if you set up your equalizer and things like that just the way you like it in a Windows computer, then you disconnect it and you plug it in on a Mac. As long as you have that little light uh, on the, and through a button press on the side, the little Sound Blaster X button, that being on tells the sound card, use whatever Sound Blaster X sound profiles and equalizer stuff is saved into the card the last time it was synced with the software. And so the, the reason that's sort of a workaround is as long as you're using the same headphones and not switching between them in a scenario where you're going to want to keep fiddling with the EQ, as long as you have it set just where you know you're going to want it and not going to want to change it, then whatever settings you had it set to the last time you connected it to your Windows computer, as long as that button is on, on your Mac, it will actually still use those settings even though you don't have the software. And I can confirm that because I played with the EQ to punch up the bass and things a little bit, and I got it to sound a certain way on my Windows computer, and then I went over to my Mac, and it sounded the same when I had that button on. When I pushed the button to turn it off, I lost all of the extra bass and adjustments I have made. And when I toggled the button back on, they came back. And so it confirmed to me it does apparently save your settings into the sound card. Uh, and toggling that button toggles that saved data on and off. So yes, it's not a perfect solution. And unfortunately, it does require that you have a Windows computer to do this. So if you're a pure Mac user that only has Mac computers, well, I don't unfortunately have a good solution for you. But if you're a person who has both, uh, this is sort of a workaround that you can use to get a lot of the features that normally only come through the software onto a Mac computer. Hope that was helpful for you guys. For me, that's kind of nice because I spend probably more time throughout any given day on my Mac computers for work and would still like the benefit of my equalizer and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for my headphone music listening. And so for me, this is pretty cool to discover because then I can have the EQ the way I like it for my headphones, no matter which system that I'm on. Um, if this was helpful for you, share your feedback in the comments below, especially if you guys have figured out any other kinds of workarounds for this issue because it's a commonly searched thing and a lot of people on Mac are a little frustrated at the lack of hardware. So it'd be cool to have a discussion about it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.